Hello and welcome. This is Glenn with Asylum 7 Studios, and today I'm going to be bringing you the first of many of our new instructional videos. Uh, this series is actually going to be on doing a complete website from design to deployment with Drupal 8. And uh, there's not a lot of information out there just yet on doing Drupal 8 custom themes. Uh, there's a bit, but uh, most of it isn't free or freely available. And uh, Drupal 8's still in heavy development, so there's still things that may change by the time it's released, but we're going to be looking at it uh, in the state that it is today. Now, we're not going to be using a base theme, since it is fairly easy to make one from scratch with all the requirements that we have. So... Why are we doing this series? Uh, we have a new game in development that we're actually getting ready to announce, but we haven't designed the website just yet. And we've been looking for a subject for our first instructional video series, and um, uh, this seems like a, as good a place to start as any. Two birds plus one stone equals this series. So the first thing we need to look at are our requirements for the game website. It's uh, an arcade style game and it will have leaderboards. And it would be nice to have a way to pull this information from our, our game server and have it displayed on the official website itself. And this is built into Drupal 8 via the uh, REST API module. Um, it's something that, admittedly, I haven't really looked at too closely, but the functionality is there. So at, at some point, we're going to be going over how to integrate that with the website itself, as well as the game server, which is going to be posting um, high scores and things along those lines. Now, we do need a way to update this website rather easily, so we need a CMS for that because we're already overloaded with the several upcoming games and other projects that we're working on. So uh, something like Drupal uh, makes it really easy for us to push out new content and just keep the website up to date with minimal hassle. Now we're going to be placing a slideshow on the front page with screenshots and trailers and something that we can easily update with views, which is now a part of Drupal core. And just creating a simple jQuery slideshow script should handle this nicely. And finally, since the game in question is for mobile devices, a responsive design is an absolute must. It should be responsive and it should work well on different devices and screen sizes. So, design considerations. We are planning to use features that are from HTML5 and CSS3, like media queries, um, things along those lines, especially for uh, the responsive elements. And all of this can be done in less, but I'm personally more familiar with using SAS. Uh, Compass has CSS3 vendor prefixing built in. It's capable of auto-compiling and creating the CSS sprites is really easy. Uh, responsive grid systems are really nice too, and likely we'll be using Suzy and Breakpoint to lay out the site. And um, the editor. Uh, full WYSIWYG authoring is a bit of overkill for web design these days, especially since content authoring is done in the CMS. We're going to be using a, an application called Brackets that you can actually get from Brackets.io and it has live preview built in so we'll be doing our design there in the browser. Later we'll probably end up switching to Guard and using Guard Live Reload uh, to edit live on a locally hosted Drupal install. Now you can use the, the full Live Reload app if you're on Windows or Mac OS, but we're actually going to be doing our development here on Linux, so Guard Live Reload will more than likely be the best way to do that. The next thing we need to look at is actually deploying the site. Now since we're uh, designing locally, 
we need a way to easily deploy the changes that we make to the server uh, so that it can be displayed on the main website. Um, basically, we're going to keep our tinkering off of the main site until we're ready to go live with it. Uh, we, we do need a method for revision control to keep us from breaking something beyond repair. And um, Git will actually satisfy both of those requirements. Uh, that will let us edit locally, commit, then push our changes up to the Asylum 7 Git server, and then just do a Git pull from the site when we're ready to go live with our changes. This gives us the revision control we're looking for for free. Uh, for hosting, we'll be using a Linux server running Apache and PHP. As far as the database itself is concerned, MySQL, MariaDB, Percona, they're all basically the same thing, and I know that's not 100% accurate, but they work very similarly. And I, I just, I really prefer the way Postgres works. Luckily, Drupal supports this as well. So, in a nutshell, this series is going to be a complete site from design to implementation and deployment in Drupal 8 using SAS, Compass, Suzy, Breakpoint to help us promote our upcoming game and maybe help someone out there learn web design in the process.